Welcome in everybody to another High Button Sports Broadcast. We're here today live from the Rathie Slick Community Center here in Truro to complete the U15A Day of Champions final game that started last weekend, unfortunately cut short due to an injury, but back here now to finish this game off. Still 12 and a half minutes to go in the second period of this one, so we're picking right back up on the action here. A 2-1 game so far here in the second period as we just get started now, whistled down at the line for an offside here. The South Colchester Elks here taking on the Halifax Hawks. Elks with a 2-1 lead here in the second period now as we get underway in this one. Neutral zone faceoff coming up here now. Sent back out now as the Elks win the draw. This one's going to be fired into the offensive zone. Now it takes a funny hop off the corner boards there. Ends up in the slot but knocked away. Now puck comes back out in front there. That one's off a stick though and back into the corner. Picked up by Halifax now in their own zone. It's thrown back out into neutral ice there. Taken now and thrown up the middle of the ice by Gillis. Dumped into the zone there now. Halifax will get a change as McNeil gets this one deep. Picked up on the wall now. It's stolen back away by the Elks here. That one's fired back around down low. McPherson. Throws that one around the opposite side now. Still looking to clear the zone here. Colchester can't get it out yet. Battling for it on the boards now. Worked up the ice in a skate though and kept in once again by the Hawks here as they continue the offensive zone pressure here. Up the wall now back into the middle. Stolen away but once again knocked off by Halifax. They get it deep once again. It's Pouliot this time getting that one below the goal line here. Thrown back up the middle now. All the way down by the Elks and so that one will go all the way for an icing. Faceoff set to come back down into their zone here now. Halifax looking to continue the pressure here as they get a line change. Some fresh players out there now. Just over 11 minutes to go here in the second period of this game now. Sent back up the ice now this time by the Elks as they carry it in the offensive zone. Worked up by Tadri. Now knocked away in the corner. Halifax picks it up in their own end. Big collision there and a penalty upcoming here against the Elks. Referee's arm in the air now. Play whistle down here. And a head contact call on the way. So Halifax heading to the power play. Looking to tie this game up here now. Cole Tadri heading off on the head contact call there, I believe. So Halifax... Going to the main advantage here. Offensive zone draw coming up for them now. One back to the boards, but Elks looking to clear. They do. Worked back down to the Hawks zone here. Picking up uh, behind his own net there. Cohen McNeil works it up. Sends a pass through the neutral zone there, but just missed. Linesman's arm in the air, but icing waved off on the play. Picked back up by the Elks now in their own zone and sent down once again here, killing some time off of this penalty. Worked around now. Hazel on this one. Halifax still waiting now. Pass back up to Hazel. Sent into the middle now. Michael McNeil this time picks it up. Has it knocked off. Now worked in the zone. That one's going to be whistled down for offside. McNeil disagrees with the call there, but whistle goes. And so neutral zone faceoff coming up now with a 108 to go on this power play for Halifax as they search for the tying goal in this one. Worked in now, shot fired wide there. Back out to the point now, long shot fired in. This one just goes wide. Bounces around to the opposite point now. That one's off a stick. Fired back down low. Now the Elks looking to clear once again, and they do here as this one's sent down the ice. Connell McGee in nets here for Halifax. Works his way out to stop that puck up behind the net. Somewhat of an unprecedented situation here. Continuing this game almost right in the middle. Picking up where we left off last weekend here. 
with 12 minutes or so to go in the second period. Now down to 9-12 to go in this middle frame. It's going to be offside at the line there. Both of these teams kind of prepared for the season to end last weekend, but circumstances have them playing one last game here now on a Thursday night here in Truro. 2-1, the Elks lead it here now as this power play is set to come to an end here in 17 seconds. Halifax works it in, though, once again for a late chance on the power play, maybe if they can get one, but it comes back out to neutralize once again here. Hawks back to get it now as Gillis finds this one. He throws it cross ice. Hazel couldn't quite get a handle on it now, but fights for it here on the boards. Back to five on five now. Tatry out of the box, but Halifax steals it away now. Hazel works in with a shot. That one's ripped just high on the glove side there. Huge collision there down low. No call on the play, though. Elks player down there in the corner after that huge hit there. Back down in the corner, just a big collision below the goal line here. We'll take the camera away, allow that player some time to get to his feet hopefully here. Up now and skating back to the bench, so hoping the best for that player. Never want to see an injury like that, especially after last weekend. The whole reason we're here today. But back to the bench now. And so we'll continue play in the offensive zone here for Halifax. As this one comes back to Sampson at the point. Long shot fired on, save made there by Douglas. And the whistle goes there as that one's right up in the bread basket. Easy stop for him there. Hangs on to that puck for the whistle. Alex Douglas getting the nod in nets for the Elks here today. Not a full game, of course. But still, the most important game of the season for both of these teams. Picking up where we left off here last week, and now it's worked back into the zone. Halifax with some space now, working in with a shot. That one's off a leg and wide. Rebound try put out in front now. Puck still loose in the crease there as they battle away for that one, but the Elks take possession here now as it's worked up on the left side through the neutral zone. Carried in now. Some space here for South Colchester, but that one's knocked away. Rimmed around the boards here, now picked up on the backhand. Battling in neutral ice now. It's picked up now by Matheson. He cuts in with some space. Matheson in alone. Shoots. Glove save made and held on to there. An incredible stop on the try by Matheson. But he's turned aside there by McGee with the glove. 7.42 to go in the second period of this one now. The Elks looking to take a two-goal lead but denied by the Halifax netminder. And this stays a one-goal hockey game. Puck one back up to the point now for Tatry. That one's fired in but it's off a skate and ends up in a mix of players down low there. Aaron Pass comes back out in front there now at the point, Tatry. Now fed into the slot, puck worked down low, shot, pad save there, McGee, another great stop there, point blank, keeping that puck out. Worked up the sidewall now, but once again, Halifax can't get it out of their own end here now. Off the glass, they fire it now, looking to clear, but can't. Puck ends up in the slot now, backhand try fired wide. Lots of pressure here from the Elks. This one comes back out in front now in the slot. Shoveled down low. Rimmed around now. Tapper looking to keep it in but can't. Halifax finally getting that clear they've been looking for for the last minute or so as it's sent down the ice. Whistle down for icing here though. So faceoff is going to come back down into their end here as we're inside seven minutes to go in the second period of this game. High up off the draw, Gillis picks it up down low in his own end now. Lead feed up the ice now for McNeil. Michael McNeil carries it up. Puck ends up back in the neutral zone now for Halifax once again here. Now Cohen McNeil fires a pass cross ice there, broken up. Back at center, puck played into the elk zone here. Long pass fired across there, broken up. 
Battling for it here in the neutral zone now. Eventually Halifax comes away with it, but at the blue line there, play whistle down on the offside. And so with 6.16 to go in the second period, now another neutral zone draw coming up here. Just outside the Elks zone. South Colchester wins that draw though now as they gain the line here, dumped into the offensive zone. Picked up now, shot fired high this time. Struggling to find the net here. A couple great saves though from McGee when they have found the net, including that breakaway chance from Matheson a few moments ago. As now this one's sent back out in front by Halifax. Loose puck poked away. Works it back out now. Siller walks in and fires a shot, deflected down low there, but goes wide. At the point now, shot fired on from a distance there. Not sure if he had it. Halifax celebrating, goal waved off though. Not sure if the Hawks knew that one didn't find the back of the net as they had a quite the celebration there for a minute, but referee emphatic and signaling, signaling that that one did not indeed cross the goal line. Face off back out into the neutral zone now. Dumped in by the Elks here once again. Going back for it now for Halifax. Siller on it once again. Fired back out to the line but kept in this time. Madsen cuts in front now. He's wheeling with this puck. Shot fired on there. Save made. Halifax looking to clear it. This time they do get it back out to neutral ice. Sent down, not gonna be enough for icing. Those is picked back up by South Colchester now in their own zone. Puck fired up for Matheson once again. He takes a bump at center ice. Now worked in the offensive zone. Shot fired on from a distance there, swallowed up by McGee who makes a save. And we get a stoppage with 4.47 to go in the second period of this one goal hockey game here. Offensive zone draw coming up now for South Colchester. Puck just played off the wall there, off the faceoff now. One back by the Elks, sent out in front there. The shot and the save once again. McGee comes up big there on the point blank chance from the Elks. He turns it aside, able to get the whistle as well. Nice rebound control from him there. Not letting anything pop out in the slot. Makes the save, comes up big for his team. That's about the fourth or fifth big save we've seen from Connell McGee here in just the last eight or nine minutes alone. Fired back up the middle now, it's dumped in by the Elks. McGee out to play this one. Tatry at the point, fires it in from distance. That one's deflected wide. Halifax can't contain possession here in the offensive zone now. Thought they had the tying goals a few moments ago, but waved off there. Now the Elks working it the other way. It's Tapper on this one. Hands it across. Tatry works in with it. Has it knocked off. Now shot from the point. That one's deflected just wide there. Halifax picks it up behind their own net, but can't clear this puck. Fed it back out to the neutral zone now. Tapper giving chase after this one, but Halifax getting there first. Puck fired across there, now sent down into the offensive zone, knocked there at center. Cohen McNeil after it for the Hawks here, behind his own net. Lead feed up the ice now, poked away, Elks back in possession now, long shot fired on, save made there by McGee. 3.20 to go in the second period of this game, pace picking up here. Halifax going to send it down once again, though, and that will be an icing against the Hawks now with just over three minutes to go in the second period of this one. A 2-1 game. The Elks have the lead here. Faceoff coming up to the left of McGee after the icing call now. Shots are 19-8 in favor of the Elks as well here. As that one sent off the glass and down the ice by the Hawks once again. 
Looking to beat up the icing, but not going to get there in time. So once again, play whistled down. Halifax winning the draw once again this time. They'll look to just get it out cleanly here, but can't do it this time. Got it back down low in the zone now. Collision there in the corner. Elks come away with the puck. Cross ice pass now. Gets it in the slot. Looking to send it over and get that deflection in front, but just missed the stick there. Sealer battles for it now. Halifax looks to clear, and they do get it back out to neutral ice, but that's just about as far as they'll get it. It's fired right back in by South Colchester now. To Komarov behind his own net now, working up with it. Long lead feed now with some space working in. A nice pass there. The Elks cutting in with a shot there. That one's just off a stick and now a collision there. Down low in the zone and a penalty upcoming now. A cross-checking call, I believe, going to go against the Elks here. And so another power play opportunity coming up for Halifax as they're still in search of this tying goal here with 2.10 to go in the period. Matheson going to be heading off on the cross-checking call. A 2-1 game here still. The Elks in the lead. Halifax power play upcoming here, though. A chance to tie this game at two. It's our Day of Champions U15A finals here. This game postponed last weekend after an injury, so we're back to pick up the final period and a half or so of this one. The winner of this game will be crowned the U15A champions here. So a lot on the line for both these teams. A bit of an unusual situation for them both. You can understand having to pick up in the middle of a game here on a Thursday night. Hard to play with that same amount of intensity that you would after already having played half this game last week. But both teams doing a good job now. Pace of play really picking up here in the final minutes of the second. Just 1.45 to go in the middle frame here. A minute 35 remaining on the Halifax power play. This one sent up the ice. Gillis able to keep it in, though, at the blue line for the Hawks. Now turns it over in the middle of the ice, and it's sent down by the Elks once again on the penalty kill here. Puck down to McGee on net now. Cross ice pass there, just missed. Elks dump it in once again there. Tatry gets it deep. Lead feed up the ice now for Halifax. Turned over now at the point, working in with a shot there. That one, they score. A screen shot in front. That one just got through, though. And a shorthanded goal here from the Elks has them up 3-1 to one now with just over a minute to go in the second period. I don't think that McGee ever saw that one. Just kind of got screened in the front as that shot came in. But able to find the back of the net. Now the Elks up 3-1 to one here. Still 55 seconds to go on the penalty that they have to kill off here. So Halifax could really use a goal late in the second period now to get back to within one. Before the intermission now. This one sent back in front now. The shot there, they score! So a quick answer from Halifax, exactly what they need, and they find just that. They're back to within one goal here now on the power play. Able to find the back of the net there now to make this a 3-2 hockey game. Murray finds the back of the net with just 51.4 seconds on the clock. And Halifax makes it 3-2. Lead feed there, looking for Tapper, just missed his stick. That one sent down. And so an icing call going to be going against South Colchester now. Face off set to come back down into their zone here. As Halifax answers back very quickly after that goal against their shorthanded. They work it back up and get their own special teams marker this time on the power play for them, though. So now with 44.1 on the clock here in the second, an offensive zone draw for the Hawks now. Hoping to tie this game maybe late in the middle frame here.
Face off one by the Elks, though. This one's rimmed around the boards. Brought back up by Tapper now. Has it poked off his stick there by Siller. Feeds it up to McNeil. Has it knocked away from him, though. Now Simpson. Lead feed brings it up ice now. Off the glass, it's sent the other way by the Elks. Race for this puck now as it's worked in with 15 seconds to go in the second period. South Colchester in possession here in the offensive zone. Tapper going after it once again here. Rimmed around to the opposite side now though with five. Halifax sends it down one last time here now with just 2.1 seconds to go in the second. Uh, icing call against the Halifax Hawks here. Going to set us up for one last face off here before the second period comes to an end. Face off to the left of McGee. Trying to poke it through now. Shot fired on, but a quick pad save there. Had to be sharp in these final two seconds of the second period, but McGee able to come up big with the save, and so that will do it from us here at High Button Sports. The second period of this game now officially completed. We'll be back in just a moment to bring you the third. It's 3-2 Elks after two here in High Button Sports. U15A, they have champions. We'll be back with the third period just after this break. Welcome back, everybody, to High Button Sports as we get set to bring you the third period of action here now. Halifax Hawks taking on the Col South Colchester Elks here, pardon me. This third period now getting underway. The U15A Dave Champions game here had to be postponed last weekend after an injury that stopped that game from completing. So we're back here now a couple days later to finish this one up as we're underway here in the third period now. The Elks with a 3-2 lead. A late shorthanded goal for them made it 3-1, but Halifax answered back quickly to get back to within one goal here now. And so that's where we stand here starting off this third period. Face off back down in the Halifax zone now. Sent down by Halifax off the draw now. Not going to be quite enough for icing. It's picked back up by Tatry now in his own zone. Fired around the wall. Stolen back by the Hawks now. Sent out in front but picked off by the Elks. And now a cross ice pass finds Matheson the other way. Matheson cuts in now with some space. Matheson on the backhand try. Lifts one just high over the net there. That's his second grade A chance of the game here today. Was stopped on a breakaway earlier with the glove of McGee, and this time just lifts it high on the backhand there, unable to find the back of the net. McNeil gets it deep now for Halifax off the change here. Worked in the middle now for McPherson, just dishes it off there to nobody and heads off for a change. Looking to get some fresh legs out there for the Elks here now. Lifted into the middle, Tapper's on this one now. Sends it the opposite way. Picked up and carried in now. Shot fired on there. Sticked away, but kind of got caught up in the pads there of McGee. So just going to find that one and hang on to it for a whistle now. As we're just about a minute and a half into the third period here. Puck one back to the line now off the draw. Elks can't get, Elks can't get that one back out in front there as it's off the 
side of the net, so Halifax takes advantage of that. They'll get it back up to neutral ice. Deflected now by Thatcher as he gets it down low for Siller. Siller picks it up now. He goes off the boards, but not out. Halifax down low in their own zone now, picked up, but once again kept in at the line by the Elks here. Strong on the point here. Tatry sends it out in front there, but just misses. Opposite side. South Colchester still on this one here. Puck came out to the slot there. The Hawks able to take advantage though and jump on top of that one as they get it back out to the neutral zone here. Play whistle down there now. Is this one going to come into the neutral zone, I believe, for the faceoff here? Big collision there on the boards as these teams not afraid to get physical here. The Elks looking to get it up ice here, but just missed that pass as it was fumbled and sent in now by Coleman the other way for Halifax. Picked up by Tatry in the corner now, rimmed around for Crow. Can't clear that one, Halifax able to keep it in, now turned over though. Banked off the wall, but not out. Thrown cross ice now, dumped back into the zone. That one's off a of body. Gillis going after it in his own end. Has it now in the Halifax corner. Played up ice now from the left side. It's carried across center by the Hawks here. 11.45 to go in the period. Another big collision there. Sent down the ice now by the Elks. That's one's gonna go all the way. We'll see if it's enough for icing, and indeed it is. So play whistle down here now with 11.34 to go in the third period of this game. The Elks with a three to two lead here. Face out, gonna come back down to their zone now after the icing call. Twenty-two to nine, the shots here in favor of South Colchester, but only a one-goal game here. Halifax looking to tie this one up now. Still tons of time to play in the third period as Siller fires it back down low into the offensive zone. Run off the side of the net there now. Halifax looking to take this puck back in their own end. Played back up to the point, but kept in there by the Elks. Fired down low. A foot race for this one now. Halifax, Halifax able to win that puck battle. Turned over on the wall though, and so the Elks continue possession now in the offensive zone as it's picked up down low. Lead feed now looking to find, but just couldn't quite get it through as that pass was ahead of the stick there. Halifax able to find it though in the corner. Passes a bit too far ahead. Simpson keeps it at the line now. Fires one down low, cross ice. Carried in the middle for Madison. He has it knocked off his stick. Turned over now in the middle of the ice. Simpson couldn't keep that one. Fired it now by Gillis. Halifax will make some changes here now. As we approach the 10 minute mark here in the third period. Back up to center now by the Elks, but as they were gonna, gonna be way offside there. And so play stopped. And we'll have a face off at the South Colchester line with 9.57 to go in the third period of this one goal game here. A 3 2 lead for the, for the Elks, pardon me. Hawks looking to tie this one up though. Still tons of time to do that. Just inside 10 minutes to go in the third period of this game now. Halifax gets it down low. Once again, it's looking to get some offensive zone possession here now. Rimmed around now. Hawks able to keep that one. Now pulled out of the scrum 
South Colchester able to get it back out to neutral ice. Bit of a bobbled pass there. Tapper jumps on top of it, but can't contain possession here now in the offensive zone. Tatry now on this one. Can't get it out of the zone. Backhanded out to the line, but kept in once again by Halifax here as they're pressuring. Pouliot gets it back out in front there. That one's deflected away with the stick of Douglas. Sent back the other way now. Picked up by the Hawks here. Not a ton of shots on net for them here. They've had their fair share of puck possession, but it's not able to get a lot of opportunities on goal. One good chance they had, able to find the back of the net with it on the power play there back in the later stages of the second period that one made it a 3-2 hockey game. But now looking to just increase their opportunities here as time starts to wind down in this game. Just 8.25 to go in the third. Lots of time left, don't get me wrong, but got to work on the style of play right now as they're being a little bit more passive than they should be, especially down in this game. Shoveled up ice there by the Hawks. That one's knocked away, but they find it back now down below the goal line. Worked up there, but couldn't get it out. Now a chance for them here with numbers as they work it up. Ice three on two, sent back out into the middle now. Backhand try, played out in front there. Now shot comes in from the side. Wraparound try there is knocked away by Douglas. Now puck loose at the side of the net, but able to put the glove on top of that one and hang on as the whistle goes here. 7.39 to go in the third period. Halifax, a couple good opportunities right there. As both teams will make changes here to get some fresh legs out on the ice. Up to 12 shots on net for them here now. Two have found their way to the back of the net, but got to get a few more shots here late in this game. As it's dumped in there, just going to be held on to now by McGee, finds its way into his gloves though. Just gonna hang on to that one for a stoppage now. As we work our way past the halfway mark of this third period. No goals to speak of here yet in the third. Two late ones in the second, one from either side there. Found us where we are now at three to two. South Colchester now picks this one up off the draw. Thrown back in front there, but taken away by Halifax now as they work it up the other way. Launched in there from the blue line. Puck finds its way all the way to the other side. Battle for it on the sidewall. Now rimmed around. Matheson there to meet it. Takes some contact there. Trying to make a play on the puck, but has it knocked away. Murray on this one now for Halifax. Had the goal late there. Back in the second now. It's picked up by the Hawks here, but knocked off the stick. Struggling to find some open ice to get this puck into now. Looking for the lead feed there for Madison, but just quite couldn't get the handle on that puck to get a pass ahead for him there. Now play whistled down here. Inside seven minutes to go in the third. Time starting to wind down in this game now. 6.39 remaining in the final period of this one. Face off coming back down in the Halifax zone with it now. Worked out in front there, but couldn't get the clean shot off. Now back over to the point. Tatry gets it down low. Into the slot now. Bouncing puck just couldn't get the shot off once again. Just hopped over the stick there before the shot could be released. And now picked up in the corner by Halifax. Looking to relieve this pressure as they get it out of the zone. Flipped into the middle there. Now it's center ice. Missed pass there, now stolen right back though by the Hawks here. Strong play there to knock that one off. McNeil sends it to the middle now, taken back at the point. Working in with a shot there, that one's off a of body in front there, good block. Picked up now by Tatry and he's off to the races here. Working away for South Colchester with a partial breakaway, just fired that one wide on the glove side though. Open ice collision there now. Halifax picks the puck up back in their own zone now as they Fine neutralize with it there. A great chance for South Colchester. Tatry on a partial breakaway. Just 
Couldn't find the net now as this one comes in from the blue line there. Fought off by McGee as that one sent into the corner. Five and a half minutes to go in the third. Back to the point now. Played back down low. Scooped up in the corner and rimmed around the other way. McNeil there to meet it though. For Halifax here, McNeil. Winding back and forth with this puck now. Scoops it up and takes it back out to the point. Here's a chance for the Hawks working it in two on one. Centering pass now in alone. Works in with the shot. Save made there by Douglas. Bit of a weird one there. Worked in really tight with that puck. Douglas able to make the save though. Now launched back out in front there. Another stop from the pad of Douglas. And finally the whistle goes there. As that one's covered up a great chance for Halifax. Just couldn't bury it though. Alex Douglas with a couple huge saves for his team now. So some huge saves there to keep that puck out. 25-15 the shots in favor of the Elks here now. Halifax still unable to tie this game. They found a goal there back in the second period. Now looking to tie this one up here with 4.45 to go in the third. South Colchester now in their own zone with it though, working it up ice. Van Tassel carries it up. Knocked off that one. Sent down the other way now, that one's gonna go not quite enough for icing, so Halifax able to clear here. Fired back down low though by the Elks. McPherson. Carried in by Siller, he fires a shot there. Douglas takes a look behind, wasn't sure if that one snuck through, but has the puck there, just in the equipment. A tight squeeze on that one as it almost made its way through on the blocker side, but able to keep that one contained and hang on for the whistle there. Douglas with the stop now as we approach four minutes to go in the third period. Face off one back to the point now, shot fired wide there. Madison, got to always watch him as he's trying to sneak away, looking for that breakaway pass always. Had a couple of chances in alone here tonight. As that one's fired cross ice for him there, just meets it at the blue line and sends it up ice now. McPherson carries it in. Cross ice pass into the middle now. Shot fired on, they score! The Elks with some insurance here now as it's 4-2, which is 3.38 to go in the third period. A goal there on the rush, able to find the back of the net. And this game just got suddenly much more out of reach for Halifax there as they were down a goal. Now down by two here with three and a half minutes to go in the third period. Connor Crossman able to find the back of the net there. A nice snipe, just puts it over the blocker of McGee. And now another chance for them here is that one's fired on net, but this time McGee able to meet it with the save and hang on for a whistle. Timeout called now by Halifax here, and so both teams will meet at the bench to talk things over. Two very different messages being sent across these benches right now. Halifax looking to play very aggressively in these final few minutes here. Down a pair of goals, just gotta take whatever chances you can get here and get pucks towards the net. Meanwhile, the Elks looking to lock down on defense here in these final three minutes or so. Just limit the shot opportunities, get bodies in front of the net and in the shooting lanes. Prevent shots from getting to their goaltender. They've got that cushion now of a two goal lead here, but still can't sit back. You gotta be ultra aware here in these final few minutes. Face off back down into the Halifax zone here. As the Hawks will look to get this one out now. Won't be long before we see the goaltender coming to the bench for Halifax. McGee, of course, as they'll try to get the extra attacker out there in the next couple minutes or so.
especially being down a pair of goals here. Halifax not going to wait much longer to get that extra attacker out there. As this one comes out to the side of the net, Douglas looking to get the cover on it, but just knocked away there. Tapper gets it up ice, and now they get it out. As that pass fired across for Tatry, lifted into the offensive zone there now. McNeil goes back for it. Behind his own net now, picked up and battling for this puck now. Some pressure here as it's taken away by Crow. Cuts in front now, fans on the shot. Puck still loose in front though now. The Elks with some pressure here. Sent in the other way for Halifax now. Stops up, looking to pass that one cross ice there, but knocked off as Crow gets in the lane there. Sent up the ice now. Back in the neutral zone here for the Elks. Two minutes on the clock now, so time really winding down for Halifax here as they take it back in their own end. Back in the offensive zone now. Shot fired on there. Save made by Douglas, though. Picked up in the corner. Sent up the middle. Halifax back with it now. Fired it down low once again, but taken away and sent the other way now by the Elks here. As we're inside the final minute and a half of this game, a two-goal lead for South Colchester. Puck worked in the middle of the ice now. Both teams battling away for it here. Halifax getting desperate now. Goaltender still in the net for them here with a minute and 14 to go in the final period of this game. Got it down low once again, but no pressure in the offensive zone for the Hawks. Lots of time for the Elks to make a play here now. Goaltender heading to the bench. Meanwhile, North, or South Colchester rather, gets the shot off and they score here. Bit of a miscommunication there from Halifax. Goaltender was headed to the bench. Meanwhile, the Elks were on the attack, and so an easy empty net for them there. Seals the deal in this game with 52 seconds on the clock. A three-goal lead for the Elks now. Halifax put up a great fight in this game. But now trailing by three goals here. Inside the last minute of play, the Elks looking good here to come away with this one as they get it deep in the zone once again now off the opening face off here at center ice. Halifax picks it back up in their own end. Sent back out in front now, shot fired wide there by Madison. Puck on the side of the net. Sent up the wall. Half a minute to go in the third now. Elks just gotta hang on here. Is that one sent in on net? It's gonna be offside though at the line, so a bit of a late shot there. Things starting to get chippy here down low in the zone now. Following that, some frustration obviously from Halifax, seeing as the results of this game not going their way. The Elks looking to stand up for their goaltender there following the late shot after the whistle, but both teams about to be feeling two different, very, very different emotions right here. Excuse me, as his faceoff's back out in the neutral zone now. One across for Madison. Now they battle for it down low. Referees just looking to keep this thing as clean as they can here in the final half minute or so as someone comes back up to the point now. Halifax keeps it in. Shot fired down low there now as we're inside the final 10 seconds and the building starts to get loud here. Shot fired off from the point there. Glove down with 3.4 to go. And the Elks can practically taste it here now as we're just gonna let the clock run out. And so that's gonna do it here. The South Colchester Elks, your U15A champions here. They had to wait a little bit longer than most teams for this one, but eventually it all works out in the end for them here. A 5-2 final score here today on High Button Sports. Of course, picking up from last weekend here, 2-1 in the second period is where we started the game here today. Following an injury last week, the Elks with a shorthanded goal there back in the second to make things 3-1. Halifax was able to answer back to cut the deficit back down to one, but then in the third period, the Elks 
Another goal here for some insurance just a few moments ago. And the empty netter seals the deal for them here now. So a 5-2 win today as they are the U15A champions. The South Colchester Elks with the win here today. We'll stick around for the celebration here. Along with the banner presentation. Halifax fought very hard in this one. Answered back well after that goal against in the second, but just couldn't quite get it done here in the third. Twenty-eight nineteen, your final shots on goal totals here today in favor of the South Colchester Elks. So just a lot more volume in total of shots on net. So Van Tassel, player of the game here today for South Colchester. And now here come the medals. Silver medals first for Halifax. Then we'll see the presentation of the gold for South Colchester here.
And now we'll see the gold medals presented here to the South Colchester Elks. Congratulations to both teams here. A great season for Halifax. Unfortunately, just came up short here in the finals, but still an impressive season for them. And then on the other hand, South Colchester able to get it done here in this one. U15A champions for this year. 5-2 the final score here today on High Button Sports, as I'll say it one last time here. Continued this game from last weekend as we played the final period and a half or so here today after an injury last week. Kind of forced things to be postponed, but glad we were able to finish this one off here. And the South Colchester Elks crowned champions here of the U15A League. That'll be it from us up here in High Button Sports. We'll stick around for the last couple medal presentations here, but that'll be it from me up here in the booth. Luke Fitzner here today bringing you the call for this one. Glad you could all join us. 5 to the final as South Colchester gets the win here on High Button Sports. We'll see you all in the next one, and take care, everybody.